Hello friends, uh, welcome to Red Apprentice. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, uh, string functions. Uh, so few of the uh, subscribers asked me to uh, go through some important string functions. Um, but basically these uh, are going to help uh, when you, uh, you know, actually use the product. Uh, I'll show tool and uh, you know, try from yourself. But because these these are the you know uh, string functions which are mostly similar to you know any other programming language or any other tools and technologies. Therefore, uh, so uh, this uh, things you know is kind of practical whenever you know you use it uh, you uh, and uh, okay then you you are going to remember it effectively. So let's uh, try to uh, you know introduce these functions to you. And uh, there are many more. Basically, so I'm going to take uh, some 15 few uh, functions, which are uh, probably are uh, you know, more frequently used in Avinisio kind of projects. Okay, <clears throat> but uh, uh, basically, uh, you have to you know try you know utilize uh, you know try to use the product and you know, try yourself now. Let's talk about uh, you know simple functions. Uh, when we need, you know, probably you need to calculate the length of any string. So this is A, B, C, and then there are two spaces. Okay, so one is going to be five string length. Then string line. If you want to see that whether this pattern is you know existed in particular string or not. So this is the value they are going to return, right? So pattern is uh, any regular expression or any you know, you know constant pattern. So probably. Uh, let's say this this is the string and uh, you are want to check p when is there or not so output is going to be one and if you use and you if you try then it's going to be zero okay this is a str and this is pattern now then there is a string alphabet uh, so string alphabet is uh, would be uh, have would have you know, you know left side pattern with this uh, you know, character whatever is there this string will be padded by uh, if it, let's say if I have a not data, not data right? so let's say I have a ABC as a string so there will be a two star total length is going to be five and then if the left or spaces from the left left side this character would be you know, placed there. So many times, we what we need to do is uh, we get the data from the two two sources and to reconcile those data. But probably from the one of the sources, that is not coming as a you know some appended uh, repetitive values. Like uh, there are there is a twenty length of data, and they they are appending with some zeros in one source system, and in another they are not doing, doing it. So probably we could uh, use this uh, alphabet to uh, uh, padding the zero zeros, uh, whichever you know data stream we don't get the padded values. Okay, to make it you know to align the data representation from both the sides, that uh, case we use alphabet. So L R E P is uh, so first it is going to be you know trimming of the string. So if, if there is a, you know some some spaces. In left side and right side of the you know parent string then you need to uh, you know uh, you know uh, then you know you need to trim both the speed both the sides and then you you know put this into the string and then if spaces are there then you assign this way. let's say my string is uh, some spaces and then data p u n okay char p four seven okay then uh, Okay, so this is going to be, you know, let's say P, okay, make it a 6, okay, what is going to return is, first it will print, so my string would be, uh, F and D, okay, so 7, okay, first it will print these spaces and then it is going to be, Paired with the hash. Then there is string LR. So the trimming of both the sides, left right trimming. Okay. String is coming like this. It will create a data. Okay. 
now string prefix string four okay so it will give the you know, sub string up from the string so four is means this is going to return so this is the string and then the result would be okay this is going to be written so string replace so if you want to replace any string from a parent string this is parent string and then find certain string and replace that string with this string so this is very easy Similarly, our index, our index is the string, the index of this pattern from the right hand side. Starting from the end and you know, uh, in reverse order, whenever this string is going to appear, the index of that vector value, okay. So let's say I have string as a data function. And I have to let's see. Let them. And I have to pattern in channel. Let's see. Okay, so what is going to return is the index of this C. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this number of string. Okay. String index, so if the same, if you are using string index, then what is going to happen is instead of using a string r index and using string index, then zero is going to be first, you know, first character index of the first character for this string in the parent string. Okay, then there is a string split, it's a uh, commonly used uh, string function. Uh, and uh, it's a it's to convert to any you know uh, uh, you know any delimited string uh, you know, collection of string into vector. So it is going to return as a vector. Vector uh, first catch, and then the second element would be dog, and the third element would be uh, cow. Okay, so if you want to convert the limited string into uh, many times we have to do. Okay, so that's when you use it. String split no empty. So if in if in case while right, con conversion happens right from the string representation to the vector representation, if any of the element of the vector comes out with a, at a, you know a zero length, then that will be omitted from the string. Okay. So let's say I have this one. Okay. So we will have, I mean, technically, we will have you know, one more element which will be empty. If you make it a string split, no empty, then this element will be gone away. Okay. So this you need to take care of. String join. So similarly, uh, if you have a vector, let's say I have a vector um, which is uh, you know looks like uh, this one uh, a b i have b okay and what I need to achieve is uh, I need to achieve uh, a comma b comma c. Okay. This is my. So what do I need to do? Is think join vector this one. Let's say this vector is vector A, A B C. Let's say. What I need to do is A B C. Okay, A B C. Okay. Probably, if let's say, uh, string join. It is here. It is giving uh, instead of giving the uh, comma, it's giving pipe. So what is going to return is a pipe, b pipes. So this is going to be it. Okay. Now string sub string. Uh, so from this string, start from the five. You know, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and take the five element. Okay, e f g h. Okay. 
So PF is zero to the return of starting from the direct fixed index and take the this part. String down case you need to convert into the lower case, up case is the upper case, string concept may be you know, going to string, let's just str1 and str2 you can specify okay. and uh, if I have str1 as a, b, c and str2 is uh, x, y, z then what is going to happen is x, y, z then what is going to be written a, b, c, x, y similar string filter string filter out so this is also uh, you know the string uh, wherein uh, so if you let me take the string filter so let's say I have a string like uh, B P N uh, C B V C B N and uh, I have another string is uh, N C B okay. N C what is going to be written is the common uh, so the string which is available in both the strings so ncb is available in both the string right so this is going to be written a filter out in the sense of uh, which is available in uh, first string but it is not available in the string second one so what is available in first one a p ncb is there and VPN is going to be written. Okay. This is string filter and string filter out. So depending upon the use case or depending upon the particular context, we could use that. String is numeric, whether this string is a numeric or not. Is it numeric? Yes, it is numeric. So it is going to be written as one. If it is alpha numeric or not numeric, then it is going to be written as zero. Start with apple app. Okay. This um, yeah, uh, these are the few uh, some uh, string functions uh, I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, so okay, based on you know certain uh, particular request. So okay, thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel and uh, probably share it with others so that they can be uh, benefited out of it. Thank you so much.